You know, my beloved mother made reading the most important thing a human being could do. And she did not have a college education, though she lied about it and said she did. <laughs> but one thing she did was she insisted to her kids, we went to the library every week and we checked out as many books as we were allowed to. And in most libraries that was five books. We would read them, then trade them. And so we got to read 10, and as the family grew, my God, we were reading, you know, 25 books a week <laughs> as the family kept enlarging. But it was my mother who made me love literature almost immediately. And when I was five years old, she picked up Gone with the Wind, which was her favorite book. And she told me this, and it, it, I think this changed my life. And Dad was overseas fighting in Korea. And my mother, my mother had this beautiful voice, this southern voice. And she said, she'd read out of, you know, and she'd read the book like she'd written it. And she would read out of Gone with the Wind, and she'd say, now, Pat, when you hear me read about Scarlet O'Hara, it is quite naturally for you to mistake Miss Scarlet for your own Pretty mom. <laughs> <clears throat> and when you read about that dastardly red butler, you can think about your fighter pilot father in Korea. And she said, and when you think about Melanie Wilkes, you can think about your tacky Aunt Helen. <laughs> living down there. And she said, that girl don't have a lick of sense, no personality whatsoever. <laughs> but from reading this book, and I did not know at that time mom was so poor and grew up in such poverty because she lied about that too. But when she read that book, when she did that thing of every character in that book, my mother could associate with somebody we knew. It was the first time I knew there was a relationship between life and art. Yeah. So literature was real. It was it, like it real was, life It was real to you. as anything else in the world. And my mother made it that way.